What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed, coach of the Detroit Steel Wings, bringing you guys our week two battle for the GBA Global Battle Association. Season eight is here. It is now. If you guys are excited, show some love on that like button down below. If you guys didn't see the team builder, go on and check it out in the description of this video. See what we're bringing and why we're bringing it. We are battling the nefarious Coach Z, coach of the Columbus Chew. I'll be sure to leave the channel link in the description so you can check out that side of the battle as well. Also, I talked about the team builder, the draft analysis. Coach Z is in our division. We're looking to pick up a W after last week's just after last week's game. After last week's game. We're not going to talk about last week's game. We're not going to talk about that at all. So, hope you guys are excited. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the match in the comment section down below. All that being said, I'm going to cut to where we connect with Z, and I'll be right back. All right. We are all connected. Good to go. We're picking the Mewtwo theme. I like... I want to go with, I want to go with the Mewtwo theme. I have said my have fun to Coach Z in the, in the chat. So we are all good to go. Let's go on ahead and take a look at his team. He has the Mega Ampharos. All right, good to know. That's Mold Breaker holding the Ampharosite. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's write all this down. There we go. He has the Mian Shao. Uh, we don't know the ability. It could be Reckless or Regen. He's got the Weezing with Levitate, obviously. He's got the Excadrill. Uh, I'd assume Mold Breaker. He's got the Manaphy with the Hydration. And he's got Celebi with Natural Cure. All right. So, um, I think the play here is honestly lead off with Kyogiri and get up our T-Spikes. Excadrill doesn't really threaten me too much. Um, it's good to see that he does have the Celebi here. Um, we can kind of wear that down a little bit with Mountain Lady and kind of do our own thing there. Uh, Sludge Wave will obviously be hurting it a little bit from Thunderous. It'll be nice to wear down the T-Spikes too. So I'm going to go on ahead and hit confirm there. Let's open up my uh, my calcs over here. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, so like worst case scenario. Shadow Ball from Celebi, I feel like. Like Excadrill, like... Like, Excadrill, yeah, Earthquake's not doing too much to me. He could Toxic me, obviously, which would be unfortunate. But uh, that's okay. I'm okay if I can get out some T-Spikes for that. Obviously, his Poison type isn't grounded, so we can abuse that. Um, and his Rapid Spinner cannot spin on Kirogiri, so that is good to know. Good to know. So let us see if we can defeat the Nefarious Coach Z. Recompense the Mian Shao leads off here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to lead off with Kirogiri. He can knock off. Um, I've obviously got that Culverberry there to take that. Uh, should he be an offensive set? Um, let's just kind of see here. Yeah, Nonkoff's doing 18 to 20 if he's max attack jolly. So I'm just going to go on ahead and click T-Spikes here. No issue against that. He U-turns. Shows the U-turn here. Probably a, probably a choice scarf set. U-turn doing... He's got regen. All right, good. We know that right out the gate. All right. So he's not... He's probably choice scarfed. We'll go on ahead and find out his regenerator ability because of the mummy, which is really, really nice to know. Uh, so that way in our calcs, we don't have to worry about reckless high jump kick doing too much to our Pokemon. Um, I would assume choice scarf. I didn't see if there was life orb damage. I was too busy taking notes. So um, I don't think he would have gone for a U-turn if there was life orb damage involved. Life orb regen could be the play, but we took away his regenerator, which is nice. Goes down to ruin, which is the Celebi, actually. All right. Good to know. Um, I can knock this thing off. I can knock this thing off all the way. Um, uh, Shadow Ball does about half to me if he's timid. Leaf Storm obviously hurts a lot. Um, I'm just going to go for a knockoff here. I'm going to get rid of whatever item he has. He goes for the Stealth Rocks. Reveals that he has those. And we're going to go on ahead and get rid of the whatever item he's got. The leftovers. All right, cool. So no recovery for that thing. Um, I'm going to get up another layer of Toxic Spikes right here. It's going to help me wear down things like the Manaphy, like the Mega Ampharos as well. Shows the Leaf Storm. Misses the Leaf Storm as well. All right. So I'm going to get my second layer up here. Um, and I take a Leaf Storm. 65 to 76. Um, so I can freely just kind of pain split off that Leaf Storm. I can freely pain split off that Leaf Storm. We're 90%. Yeah, I can pain split that up and then just go for another knockoff there. 
Uh, he's not Meadow Plate. That didn't do... That did about 25, actually. So, uh, we're doing about 17 to 20 here with Knock Off. Uh, being able to get a little bit more chip off this thing. He could have Recovery, of course. Um, he's going to go for the Leaf Storm again. He's going to connect this time. Uh, and he is going to do not as much as I thought. So, 90 down to 60. So, actually, he could be Max. He could be... Uh, He'll be pretty good. He's got a lot of HP if we just regen that much. So I've got no needs, no reason not to just probably knock off here whatever's coming in. I don't think he'd want to stay in. He U-turns out. So we know pretty much his full set. He has no more leftovers. Stealth Rock. He's got the Stealth Rock there. Something else to note is that if he ever uh, U-turns on the... Uh, if he ever U-turns on the Cofagragus here, um, he's not going to be able to do too much. So, uh, I don't think you'd expect me to double knock, but it is my only offensive play here. Uh, he knows pretty much our full set outside of the whole, uh, outside of the whole Colberberry thing. Uh, Mega Ampharos could definitely be a play if he wants to go into. We've got to switch in and Kangaskhan. Goes back out. Ooh, give me this Mian Xiao. You're going to be toxic, and I'm knocking off whatever you have. I am knocking off whatever you have. That was a Life Orb. Oh, it was Life Orb. All right, good to know. Good to know. So, he's Life Orb with regen. Doing a little bit less now. Um, if he wants to knock off Culberberry. If he wants to knock off the Culberberry. So let's just say he's not reckless. We know that. Um, Knockoff's doing 18 to 21 to me. That is putting me at about 40. I could uh, I could probably. Um, I, could, I could easily pain split this off. I could easily paint split this off. So he's going to knock off. I'm going to pop my Colbert. We know he's got knock off and U-turn now. Uh, we're also getting rid of his... Uh, we're also getting rid of his... Um, regen on the Switch, which is nice. So I'm just going to paint split up here. Get a little bit of damage off. I'm very, very bulky. I'm very, very bulky. He's going to start taking some more toxic damage. He can just U-turn right here. Um, as I... I'll go for another pain split. I'll go for another pain split because he can just U-turn around between this and Celebi. It goes for the knockoff again. Doing doing less damage there. I'm just gonna pain split up until you U-turn. Obviously not getting that much back. I feel like he has to U-turn here. Um, pain split one more time. He's obviously got the regen. So whatever he goes out into, there is the U-turn. All right, cool. I was about to say, whatever he goes out into is going to give me a lot of HP um, with no with no bones about that. So the knockoff on the Cofagragus is very nice. We obviously lost our Culverberry here, which is something to note. Um, goes out to Celebi. Let's me. He's going to get Toxic Poison. I'm going to be able to Pain Split this thing. Uh, Leaf Storm, I do not want to take. So I think going out into something like Kang is probably the best idea. Because if I'm not mistaken, um, me being at 80 does not guarantee I live a Leaf Storm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think going out into maybe even the Jirachi. Maybe even the Jirachi. I feel like he'd have to go for the Leaf Storm here. I'll go for it. I'm going to harden a Jirachi right here on the Leaf Storm. There's that Leaf Storm. Doing about... Yep. Doing about 29% to me. Okay. It's now minus 2. Uh, and minus 2 HP Fire still is not doing a whole lot. Um, he could U-turn right here. He could also expect me to U-turn right here. Uh, Flash Cannon's a pretty safe play on my part. Um, I can also get up my Rocks too. Which I think is going to be the play here. Oh, he would have sacked this Celebi right here against my rocks. Or he knows uh, I'm Scarfed. Or I want a Speed Tie. Or I want the Speed Tie right there. Either one. Uh, Scarf Excadrill can definitely come in and threaten me out. Um, I feel like I go into Cofagragus either way to prevent the spin. Uh, if he goes for that and then EQs me, so be it. That's a free switch in into uh, Thunderous for me to just start setting up, honestly. Penance. All right. 
Ooh, the Mega Ampharos, actually. All right, so Mega Ampharos going to take a little bit of chip. He's going to get rocks. He's going to get poison damage, too. All right, I like that. I like where this is heading. Uh, there's a reason we have Don Fan here. Spadef Don Fan with AV sits in front of this thing. I'm okay with it. We can wrap and spin away. He does not have a... Uh, he does not have a good... Um, what's it called? He does not have a good... Rap he doesn't have a spin blocker. He doesn't have a, a ghost on the team, so... We should be good to go with there. We'll be able to see what he wants to go for. Um, let me bring open the calc for Don Fan here really quickly. Make sure all my numbers are right. So we're at 57% with Jirachi. We can wish pass into that very easily. Very, very easily. All right. Yeah, so Dragon Pulse does not two-hit KO us. Um, actually, after rocks, it might. It has a small chance to two-hit KO us after rocks. Very small chance to two-hit KO us after rocks. So we'll see. If he doesn't go for Dragon Pulse, if he's just going for something... We'll see. He could have, like, HP Grass. Um, which I don't think would do too much. Yeah, Hidden Power Grass is even doing less. Dragon Pulse is best play right here. He's gonna break through the mold, obviously. He can, like, Oko through my Sturdy and stuff. There's the Volt Switch coming off. Awesome. So we know he's got Volt Switch on Mega Ampharos, which is very nice to know. Um, I want to rapid spin these rocks away. I don't think he wants to stay in and take an earthquake. I think he would go hard wheezing. Hard wheezing. Which in that case, I turn around and go out into Jirachi to take a will o -Wisp or something. He withdraws. Doesn't want to take any of that. Uh, the spikes and the, the toxic spikes and everything is doing good. Miasma is the wheezing. Yep. So he'll be able to wrap it spin away. He's going to take the rocks. We can find out if he's Black Sludge or Rocky Helmet right here. Um, I'd probably prefer the Rocky Helmet, to be honest. Black Sludge. All right. Um, Mountain Lady's really cool to wish pass into something, if I want to wish pass Nakiro Giri. Um, he can obviously will o -Wisp my Don fan right here. Uh, psychic spam really hurts his team. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go into Jirachi. It does. T it does shrug off the Will O Wisp that this thing wants to go for. I can just click Psychic. Um, do a lot of damage actually after after rocks unless he goes Excadrill. There's the Willow. All right. So he's got the Will O Wisp here. Um, Jirachi is to a wheezing, a physically defensive wheezing. We are. Below in that thing wide open. So I'm just going to click Psychic right here. We are blowing Weezing wide open with this. Unless he's got some special defensive investment, we have a 100% chance to KO considering he's not at full. 98.8 uh, is, the, is the low roll this does. So 170 HP if he's max HP. Um, that looks like a 2 HP difference. So we Oko this thing. I don't think he wants to stay in. Um, Celebi can obviously come in, and depending on how much damage, he withdraws, actually. All right, so what do you go out into? Penance. That is the Mega Ampharos, actually. So you're going to take more rocks, and you're going to take two Psychics. Okay. Mmm, you don't want another one of them, boys. You don't want another one of them, boys. I think I'm going to stay in. I think I'm gonna stay in and knock this bad boy out. I'm just gonna go for that. I should knock it out, obviously. He withdraws, he keeps it around. He's phasing through his own hazards. Irreverence. That is the Excadrill. So Excadrill is obviously gonna take uh, some damage. We'll see if he's leftovers or anything. He's gonna take some Psychic. That does a bit, so he might be offensive. Um, Earthquake is obviously his best play right here. Uh, I'm going Kurogiri just in case he decides to predict that and go for the spin. I want to keep those hazards up. I definitely want to keep those hazards up at all costs. It's going to keep wearing down his team. It's going to keep wearing down the Manaphy. Celebi is pretty low. Mega Ampharos can't take too much. Um, I'm not playing these games. I am not playing these games. Kurogiri comes out. If I die to an Earthquake, so be it. There's the Earthquake. All right. Yeah, 
And I live in Earthquake, too. All right. Uh, my question is, are you Scarf Locked? Because I could totally go on the Thunderous right now and click Nasty Plot. I could totally go on a Thunderous right now and click Nasty Plot. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to double on the Thunderous right here. I'm going to hope you're Scarfed. There's the Earthquake again. Okay. Um. So, let me just double check here. Let me just double check here really quick. If I know he's not Scarfed. Um, Excadrill. We know he's not Life Orb either. So, like, Rock Slide does not kill me either. So, I can just go for a nasty plot here if I'm faster. He withdraws. I'm assuming he's Scarfed. Goes down to Celebi here. Awesome. Cool. Uh, he's going to let me get a nasty plot up here. He's going to let me get a nasty plot up here. Thunderbolt. He, this thing might die to toxic damage, actually. It does not. So Thunderous is going to pick up a kill right here um, with Thunderbolt. Yeah, I'll just go for Thunderbolt here. All right, cool. Celebi goes down to that. Dies to Thunderous. Thunderbolt. Um, I think Exadrill comes out. Um... Recompense. Uh, you are not scarfed. So are you just going to go for fake out damage? Mian Shell. I think you're just going to go for fake out damage, honestly. Because I think you have to fake out here. Because Jolly Rock Slide still doesn't kill me from full. I think he's got to go for the fake out here. I'm going to hard out in a Dawn fan. I'm going to keep Thunderous around. I'm going to keep Thunderous around. He knows I'm Nasty Plot. I'm not taking the fake out. There it is. All right, cool. Um, What do you go out into right now as I knock off? Probably go out in a Weezing right here, right? In case you don't, I'm just going to click knock off again. Goes for the U-turn. Okay. Take a little bit of chip. It's fine by me. In case you don't go wheezing, I'm going to click knock off. And his Cafagragus. Cafagragus is not faster than wheezing, unfortunately. Goes down to Miasma. Fine. You're going to take a little bit of rocks. Cool. You're going to get a little bit of chip from knock off. It's obviously not doing a whole lot. Um, oh, I got rid of your black sludge. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Will-O-Wisp is obviously a play you can go for. I don't like that. Um, I don't like that at all. Uh, I'm going to go out in a Mountain Lady. I'm going to go out in a Mountain Lady on the Will-O-Wisp. We don't care about a Seismic Toss. We don't care about none of that. Yep, we can take that. And the Willow miss unfortunately. Um, I'm just going to wish. I guess he goes for another Will-O-Wisp. There's another Will-O-Wisp coming off from the Weezing. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and now whatever you want to do, I feel like I'm just going to roar. I feel like I'm going to phase out some stuff here really quickly. Let's see what else you got on. You guys for the flamethrower. Okay. So you might have thought I was going to pass into Jirachi. We take that. I'm going to roar you out and get my wish back. Ooh. Okay. Mega Ampharos. Very nice. So I can protect over you. And you'll die to the toxic damage. Or you should, rather. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's click a little protect skis. Let's click a little protect skis. And if not, then I've got to switch into, uh... I've got to switch into Don Fan right here. Like, Focus Blast, like, I feel like... Uh, no, I can just... I can just... That'll be good, I was about to say. I feel like I should just be able to click, uh... So he knows the full set now, other than Seismic Toss. So he goes for the rest. Ooh, he's got the rest on the Mega Ampharos. Very nice, very nice. Very good set. Very, very good set indeed. Um, I can toss up another wish. If he's Sleep Talk, we'll find out right here. I obviously take a Focus Blast from this thing. Uh, Mega Ampharos. Yeah, all out attacker. Yeah, Focus Blast, I take one of those and I'm able to shrug off the damage. I am at 93 right now, so even a modest Focus Blast cannot hit. And he also has to hit his 70% accurate move if he's talk. So we'll see exactly what he wants to do there. Um, part of me thinks he might go out into Mian Shao, fake out to burn my Protect, and then high jump kick, maybe? Um, either way, I've got a pretty solid switch in. Uh, rest increases the longevity of this, obviously. I do want to wish past Nikiro Giri at some point just to make sure he can't spin away those hazards for Manaphy. Because I want those Toxic Spikes to be able to continuously wear that thing down. He withdraws. I'm going to toss a wish up. He goes out in a recompense. Uh, you're taking rocks and two turns of poison right now, homie. You are taking rocks and two turns of poison right now. Um... So we got the wish off. I think, would you knock off my leftovers? This is an important turn right here. This is a very important turn right here. Because here's what happens. I go Kefagragus on either the fake out or the high jump kick. And I survive. I don't believe it does 20%. I don't believe it does. How much health do I have? 20? 20. 20. I don't even think I don't even think Hero Geary would live right there. I think I need to keep it around a sec to the Exadrill. Uh 12%. Uh U-turn is doing 6 to 7.8. So I think I need to pass this into Kiro Geary right here. I think this is my play. I think I need to go on him. He withdraws actually. He's gonna let me get a uh he's just going for his um he's going for his uh um Regen right there. Cool. So I'm going to be able to pass a wish into Kirogiri, which is very nice. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Cool. So I'll keep Kirogiri nice and healthy for this team. Um, Don fans a great switch into this thing because I just click. I think I can just double, honestly. Double into Jirachi. Double into uh, Mega King as well. We'll see if he's got the Sleep Talk here. Does not have the Sleep Talk. Okay. So he doesn't want to take an Earthquake. Um, I feel like my best way of going out against this thing. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to double into Jirachi right here. He would draw his Penance. Cool. Go out into Weezing. Goes out of my asthma. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I think he wants to keep this thing around too. Um, I also don't know if Psychic. I, I know Excadrill's getting worn down. I think I go for Psychic here regardless. And I hopefully two shot Excadrill with Psychic. Or he lets this thing go down. Kirogiri's healthy enough to take a hit from Excadrill now. Now that we wish passed, I can Psychic this. If he goes out in Excadrill, I, I, I want to say two Psychics after Rocks. Because that boy's been taking damage. He withdraws. He is going to go out into Irreverence, which is the uh, Excadrill here. He's going to take rocks, and he's going to take two Psychics here. Or he's going to take at least one. He's going to take at least one right there. Uh, time to go back out into Kirogiri. I want to knock off this thing's Scarf, so uh, Thundee just sweeps. I'm low. I do need to wish pass into Jirachi at some point. We're 51 health, which is something to note. 
51 health, which is something to note. I'll go back down to Cure Gear in case he wants to spin, in case he wants to Earthquake. Any of that fun stuff. Goes for the EQ again. Uh, we are taking that 126. 76 to now 45. Um, I, I, are you scarfed again? Because I'm going, I'm going Thunderous again. What did you go last time against this? I'm going to double out in a Kangaskhan right here. He withdraws, doesn't want to give me the chance to go into Thundee, and he's going to go back out into Miasma as I go out into my Kangaskhan, which is fine. Um, I can roar that thing around. It's going to keep getting rocks damage. It might have the pain split. I don't know. We've seen Will-O-Wisp and Flamethrower. Um, let me just double check something right here. Jirachi at 51, Weezing a Flamethrower. It's 34 to 41, so I can't switch this thing in again. Um... I do want to protect in case he goes for the pain split here. In case he goes for the pain split for the recovery. There it is. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to go Jirachi on the pain split here. If he flamethrowers, great play. But I think in order to keep this thing healthy, you need to keep Killicking Pain Split. I think uh, definitely in order to keep this thing healthy, you need to keep clicking Pain Split. I'm going to go out into Jirachi right here. Go for Flamethrower, I got predicted. But I want to get my Jirachi a little bit more health. There's the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to keep wearing we're gonna keep wearing down this, uh, this Exodrill that wants to come in. Um, I also want to click... Energy ball here, predicting the Excadrill to want to come in. I think that's a good play. I think that's a good play. Because I can come in with Thundee and Revenge. Um, I've still got Don Fan in the back. I think Energy Ball to get rid of the Excadrill is a very nice play. Withdraws. Goes back out to Penance. Which is the Mega Ampharos. Alright, so Mega Ampharos, he's, I'm going to reveal the Energy Ball there. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's a resisted hit. Psychic would have done so much more. Should have clicked Psychic. Alright. So Jirachi's now at 17. Uh, I'm going to go back out into my... I'm going to go out into Kangaskhan here. We've seen Rest. We've seen Volt Switch from this thing. Cool. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my lefties bag. I can toss up a wish, hopefully pass it into Jirachi, honestly, because like oof. I'll toss up a wish here. We can take one. Uh yeah, he is slower than me. Okay, so he is naturally slower than me. Goes for the volt switch right there. We take one of those. We're gonna be able to get our wish back. Um, and then I can protect on whatever Mianxia wants to go for, honestly. I should have clicked Psychic. That would have probably two hit KO'd Mega Amp. Would it have? Would it have, though? Would it have, though? Mega Ampharos. Eh, the range he was at, it might have. It might have. Cool, cool, cool. So he can fake out, he can U-turn, he can knock off, do all that stuff. I can pass another wish into Kirogiri here. Mm, I can also try to pass into I can also try to pass into Jirachi. Um, let's see here. Uh Mianxiao. Fake out. Six to two. Six to seven. Knockoff does a lot. Could also just fake me out. I'm going to pass Nakiro Giri. He can't do too much to me. If he U-turns, I should have went into... Uh, actually, that would kill Jirachi at 17%. So I'll go out Nakiro Giri here. 
I can just do that. Goes for the knockoff. All right, so good play on his part. It would have obviously killed Jirachi. Uh, we'll get rid of his regenerator too on the switch out. Um, we'll be able to get that wish back up too. Awesome, 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 awesome. He's gonna take a bit more poison damage. I'd assume he wants to go for a U-turn here. I'll knock. I've got no reason not to. U-turns. Cool, 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 cool. Something's gonna keep taking those hazard damage. Something's gonna keep taking the hazard damage. Which is absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. I just need... Goes back out to Miasma. Okay, so rocks damage and knockoff. Um, you better click pain, pain split here, buddy. You better click pain split right here. I'm going hard Jirachi as you click Pain Split to get all that juicy recovery back. You've got no reason not to click Pain Split. I do not threaten you in any way, shape, or form. Goes for the Flamethrower. Great play. Gives me an opportunity to set up with my Thunderous. Keep this thing around as your Don fan check. Goes for the Flamethrower. Great play. Jirachi goes down. Cool. Dies to... Uh, wheezing, flamethrower. I'm gonna go on a charge bolt. I'm gonna click thunderbolt. Uh, if he goes extra drill, I've obviously got my switch in into uh, in Kirogiri. But I'm just gonna go for thunderbolt. I'm just gonna go for it. Knock this thing out. Gives Don fan no more earthquake. I just spam earthquake at that point. Celery's gone. Cool. Weezing's gone. Dies to thunderous. Cool. Dies to thunderous. Thunderbolts. Awesome. Yeah. Don fan. Don fan keeps clicking earthquake now. Um, Mian Shao probably comes out because you cannot kill me. Uh, you cannot kill me with Excadrill. Penance, which is the. Mega Ampharos, actually. Um, okay. I'll bite. I'll bite. What's my Z-move doing to you? Forty-nine to fifty-eight if you are max HP. I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the all out pummeling right here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Can we pick up the KO on the Mega Ampharos right here? If not, we're taking a huge Dragon Pulse. Oh, no. He lived. All right. All right. All right. All right. Goes to Dragon Pulse. That's fine. Dragon Pulse. He can't be. All right. Cool. 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 He didn't take some toxic damage. I burnt my Z-move. That's so unfortunate. Burnt my Z-move. So now his Rock Slide obviously does kill me. So I can go if he wants to. He can't save this. He can't save this. I'm clicking Sludge Wave right here. It'll die to rocks. If he if he hards into Excadrill right now, knowing I have Focus Blast. Once Excadrill goes down, this wins too. So if I can just keep wearing down that Excadrill, that's all I need. I still got Don Fan in the back. Weezing knows long is no longer there to threaten it. Uh, Mana Feel have to start taking some hits. Honestly, uh, we've got Seed Bomb on the Don Fan to just kind of click on that. We can knock off leftovers. Uh, Mountain Lady is still there to roar it out. All right, cool. So Thunderous kills the Mega Ampharos. Dies to Thunderous Sludge Wave. Man, I'm mad that I'm mad that the Z move didn't burn. That would have been a that would have been a pretty good chance to sweep right there. Um, Exodrill has to come out. Yeah, Exodrill has to come out. You're gonna take more rocks damage. You're taking more rocks. You're out of knockoff users too. I mean, I guess the Mien Shao. But you're 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 fresh out of rocks users, friend. So I'm gonna harden a Kirogiri right here. 
Um, and Kirogiri definitely appreciates a move outside of an uh, outside of that. Yeah, Rock Slide is doing 15 to 18. All right, cool. Yeah, he's definitely starting. Um. I could... Do I want to double into Hound Dog right here? I'm going to double into Hound Dog right here. On the Mian Xiao. I'm going to go for that. Let's make an aggressive double right here. Knock off that. The Mian Xiao just keeps getting the regen, honestly, and it's annoying. Uh, I don't think he'd double Rock Slide right here, and if I do, I resist it. Uh, if now's the time to reveal that you are not Scarfed, A-OK -okay by me. I will risk that Focus Blast, but if now's the time to reveal that I am faster than you with Thunderous, so be it. I am 100% okay with that. But I think, uh, I think Lycanroc's the play here. I think Lycanroc is definitely the play here. He withdraws. Cool. Goes out into Recompense, which is that Mian Xiao. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm pretty sure I click Drill Run, honestly. Covers any switch you want to make. Uh, you are not reckless. High Jump Kick obviously hurts me. Um, Iron Head does 76 to 90. I'm pretty sure I click Iron Head here. He withdraws. Okay, cool. So he's going to get his regen here. He's going to go back on Irreverent. Drill Run would have been a god tier play. So close. So close. We're whittling this thing down, which is nice. We're whittling this thing down, which is nice. I'm going to go out on a Kirogiri here. Kirogiri takes those hits, man. Kirogiri takes those hits. Kafagrius comes in, shrugs off whatever he wants to go for. Um, I can double again. He can stay in and double EQ as well. Um, I'm not letting him bring in... I, I, Kafagrius goes down when the extra drill goes down. I've got Mons that are faster than the end shell by a landslide. Thunderous still beats the Manaphy. Um, Kangaskhan can roar that thing out. Wish pass. The Toxic obviously puts it on a timer, too. So, yeah, I think Kirogiri is definitely the play there. Yeah, Earthquake is doing 30 to 36. Goes for the Iron Head there. Iron Head's doing about 24 to 29. And he's Sand Rush, too. Very interesting to note. I didn't notice that originally. I did not notice that he was Sand Rush originally. So I don't know if that was, um, I don't know where that came from, why he wasn't Mold Breaker. He set the sand for himself. Um, does Kangaskhan take two Iron Heads, I wonder? Why would he be Scarf Sand Rush? Why would he be Scarf Sand Rush? No. I'm clicking knockoff here. Goes to the Iron Head again. Oh, he got the flinch. All right. Um. I'm going to Don Fan here. Uh, this frees up Don Fan to just click Earthquake. If I wouldn't have flinched, that would have been the accent drill, and then Thunderous would have been game. There's that. Gonna take some... Oh my god, that damage is so powerful. Um, extra drill. The Iron Head is doing 25 to 30. I'm at 76. I can kill you if I click Earthquake here, or if you think I have Ice Shard. I could also, I could have, ah, oh, I should have hit knockoff, man. No, because knockoff doesn't, if he goes, if he goes Mian Xiao, that takes care of the Mian Xiao, too. 
Goes to the Iron Head again. He's going to go for the flinch. There we go. All right. Excadrill's gone. Dies to Don Fan. Earthquake. Fun by me. So it's Mian Shao and Manaphy that are left. Uh, Mian Shao's really on a timer. It's got regen to be able to shrug off the T spikes there. Uh, the team being worn down as much as it is is not okay. Um, I think Kang is necessary for uh, some some wish protecting if he's like a setting up uh, Manaphy. Arbiter. Okay. Okay. Um, I can definitely see a Z Rain Dance coming in or something if he wants to go for it. If he goes for Z Rain Dance right now, do I just lose? No, I don't. I go out into Mountain Lady and I roar him out into the Mian Shao if he Z Rain Dances. That's what I do right now. I do not let him Z Rain Dance in my face. Um, C Bomb would have hurt it, but I'm not going to risk that. Goes for the Surf. All right, cool. One thirty nine down to eighty seven. And he's left over, he's not Z. So sixty five to forty one. He's doing twenty five. I can definitely click wish right here. I can definitely click wish right here. I'm okay with that. We saw leftovers, so he's not super offensive either. Goes for the tail glow here. All right. That's unfortunate. Uh, Thunderous is faster, though. I still knock him out with Thunderbolt after this. So what I could do is I could sack the... Uh, unless he's built to, like, live a Thunderbolt, but I don't think he does. And we know he's not Z-Rain. So I'd imagine not. Uh, Thunderbolt after some damage definitely does knock him out. Um, I don't think Kangaskhan lives a plus three surf, do I? Probably not. Probably not. Also, he's not max special attack either. 52 to 67. I'm at 41. I'm going to click protect here. If he tail glows again, cool. Um, if he just straight up attacks to knock me out, that works too. There's a surf. All right, cool. So I should live a plus three surf from a 66 to 79. Uh, yeah, I'm at 91. So I can roar. Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure uh, roar is the best play here. Thunderbolt should kill. Goes for the Surf. It's going to knock out Mountain Lady. If he crits me and knocks out Mountain Lady, I go on to Thunderous and I click Thunderbolt. But I believe Roar to be the play here. Yep. I'll Roar him out. Get rid of that plus three to Tail Glow. Um, Yen Shao will take some rocks damage. Um, what do you do here? What do you do here? Uh, I could also just sack... Uh, Cafagragus here and go in. Mian Shao. Fig out is 18 to 22. And I am at 44. Yeah, and Thunderbolt kills. So I think I'm going to go Kirogiri here. I'm going to go Kiro Giri here. I'll sag it to the knockoff. Yep. All right, cool. So I believe Thunderous wins here. And I got rid of his regen too, which is nice. Um, Fagragus dies to Mien Shell. Knock off. Cool. All right, I believe Thunderous wins me the game from right here. Thunderbolt is 80-95 to Mian Shao. Um, 
Yeah, Thunderbolt wins me the game right here, I'm pretty sure. He withdraws, so I, I don't think that's how the regen works though, so he'll come back in and be even less. Um, we're gonna two hit kit we're gonna two hit kiss this thing real quick. If he's like max special defense, which I don't think he is. Alright, man if he goes down to Thunderous Thunderbolt. Dies to Thunderous Thunderbolt. Alright, and then Mian Shao comes in. Um yeah, so the regenerator and the mummy, that's how that works. That's good to know. Um Mian Shao comes in. A crit fake out does 28 to 33 to me. I'm at 44, so I just click Thunderbolt. Twice at worst. Twice at worst. And that is the game. Yep, that is going to be GG to Coach Z, Coach of the Columbus Chew, picking up a nice 4 0 victory in our own division which is really, really awesome. Coach Z, thank you for the great game. You nefarious coach you. Thank you so much, guys. Go check out the channel in the description for their side of the battle as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, show some love on that like button down below. If you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. All that being said, I'm going to see you guys next week going up against Gym Leader Geo and the San Francisco Giantes. Be great. Do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Uh, later. <laughs>